It's a beautiful morning here in Clearwater, Florida, and I have finished sadhana and um, I'm feeling a little sleepy but much more refreshed and I always feel better when I come in for morning sadhana. So I still have this mouth bite that I wear at night. Sometimes I wear it when I come in so it gives a little bit of a catch on my tongue when I speak. Uh. <laughs> Oh, it's really beautiful. Tom and I were talking that it's supposed to be thunderstorms, so we may go out and play today, which would be really rad because I know we've um, we've been working hard, and it'd be nice to have some fun play time. So when we'll see, we'll see how the day unfolds. Um, yeah, I would say that if I if I were to share any morning wisdom today. It would be ultimately be kind on yourself, take one step at a time, day by day, moment by moment. Don't get caught up in the minutia, the small stuff, but also be aware that it does make up the big stuff. So the more small stuff, it becomes the big stuff. So yeah, it's, I'm taking it easy on myself. We all need to do that. Good morning. Dooby dooby doo, I see you. Buongiorno. We are making, again, that delicious chocolate cherry smoothie. You know you want some of these. I'm telling you, this year, the cherries are phenomenal so cherries take a little extra time we are stuck on the pits baby mm -hmm. mm. today we're gonna go check out hmm, Peruvian quinoa at nature's food batch and we and we're gonna go downtown and stream live Mm. On the page. What restaurants are called? Cider Press Cafe. Yay. Dramatic pour. Yeah. Pinky Pop in Love. So good. Probably one of the best movies I've ever had. Easily. It's the exact same as yesterday. Yeah. Well, you tell me. It's so good. Cheers. What are we doing? Duck lips, baby. Duck lips. Ooh. Are you looking spray. at the lens? Spray, spray, spray. This is chamomile. Kind of helpful when we're in with the wind. Okay, that was a lot of spray. Tip of child, D3. Just saying. You gotta, you gotta stimulate, stimulate. Actually, it's that very good for keeping your skin juvenile, youthful. You have to massage it in. Massage, 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 magagi. <laughs> Mayagi. <laughs> Into kawaii. <laughs> what, what? Thank you.
Knock it in my belly. Uh, you guys Convinced there's no such thing as good lighting in a bathroom, but here we are with Bathroom Chronicles. It's a Walmart bathroom, they just cleaned it. It smells clean. So, real quick Cider Press Cafe, the burger was delicious. The waffles, the Elvis special was sweet, but it was still good. It had peanut butter all over it. And just in case you're wondering, Tom wants to play Scrabble. So we're gonna go find this Scrabble Deluxe that I just reserved over at Barnes and Nobles because we've been looking for not just Scrabble, Scrabble Deluxe. And he says he wants to bring this and show y'all who's boss. So we're gonna go live and well, let's say, let's bring it. All right, I see a nickel statue, the little rad ninja that's on the nickel right there. And then it looks like a leprechaun put a three leaf clo three, uh, two, one leaf clover, two three leaf clovers and a heart shaped left clover right there, green. And then I see a woman that is getting swallowed by um, um, like a, a yellow goldfish. And then it looks <laughs> like the goldfish regurgitated some Roma tomatoes or maybe some pink lady, pink lady uh, um, apples. And it looks like she has a 22 inch LCD screen behind her. And she also just ninja flipped out of a seat belt right there. See how that seat belt is laying right there? You see that? And then she's got some blue jeans, some Jordash or I guess blue jean drapery. You see that? And she literally just ate and smoked a fat blunt because she is passed out and almost has her own self in like a guillotine jujitsu choke. <laughs> I love That's it. what I see. So we just finished uh, Express Your Heart and Lana was getting torn up with some mosquitoes. See, I didn't get one. That's why I had jeans on. Well. Very, very cool. Look at this. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You got some mosquitoes. Look, wow. Oh my gosh. You sacrificed it. You sacrificed it. Because I love you. Let's see the. Let's see your back. Flex your back. I think my, I wow, think look my at back that. Look is... At that. Look at that muscular back. Yeah. What? <laughs> Lana, you got some serious baggage. I get a lot of compliments in yoga. I don't know. Yeah. All right, y'all. It has been such a long but fun day. I truly enjoyed playing with Tom. Um, the series that we did tonight, the um, Express Your Heart Art, you know, uh, that was really special because I told Tom, I said, you know what's going to happen is we're going to get to learn about one another just through... Uh, hearing each other's interpretations because that's really what it is is you learn through engaging on different platforms on different levels and you know if there's someone in your life and you're trying to find deeper connection with them do something different agree upon something that you can both just try go out and see see what you know with new eyes like a child you know, art is something that is personal because it's an expression of what's going on within you. And we do, we project based on our personal experiences, what it is we see, what we feel, right? It's those senses, it's a sensation. Again, it's about engaging all of the senses, the sensuality of life. And art isn't everything. It's just one other form of love, you know, and when you're engaging all of your senses, you're going to feel it on different levels. And from day to day, from moment to moment, it's going to change because you're going to change. You're going to grow. You're going to evolve. So, yeah, that was really special to me. I really enjoyed that. Um, it's been a really beautiful day. I'm very grateful. And, uh, yeah, I'm feeling blessed day by day, moment to moment. <sighs> My mom is with me. It's not a moment that doesn't go by. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna forget my mom. I'm gonna honor and celebrate her through my life. 
and that's what the best we can do and you know she was her own form of an artist writer reader my mom really like you know I was sharing earlier that um, I had flown her out to Italy to spend a couple months with me back in ooh, I was stationed in Belgium at the time and working in Italy and Belgium so I flew her into Venice and then she came up with me to where I was in Belgium in Glon, Tongren and uh, it was wonderful because I took her to the Uffizi and the Accademia museums as well as Il Duomo in Florence and Firenze and at one point my mother she was just oh she said it's just so awesome that I am feeling overwhelmed and my senses are on overload because there's just so much richness to take in and to experience and that was the beauty of my mom is she really would take it into every pore of her being into every cell and so she said let's just go relax and from there we went to a sweet little Enoteca um, wine bar restaurant where we enjoyed and dined and again awakened our senses and really in, partook in the art of food right and so I um, I get to live that out for my mom because that that would make her heart sing as well so I hope you are all doing fantabulous and let's play more tomorrow in episode 53 what what